Coburn's and we don't care the signage. Yeah. And that's right that's over here. That's nice. Yeah, that's great. We're going to here. Because we don't have yeah. this time. You know, okay. We're going to plan to be at any Well, I, yeah, uh, we can still go up to what time are we going up, Mark? Well, pretty soon. Uh, we uh, we had about 20 people sign up. Uh, so we wanted to give the whole, the whole time to get here, I guess. Of <laughs> uh, course, I can make you tell us like a stupid American. <laughs> so don't follow me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> It's on our side. Okay. <laughs> and the doors are locked. Oh no. Yep. Okay. They locked the door. Oh. Yep. Still So we have a feeling, you know, we're not, definitely aren't being listened to. There is a great deal of misinformation being put out about the Canadian health care system, there about is, the there English is. health care oh, system. Oh, there is, right here on this? Right here. Mm -hmm. And I am a senior citizen. I have Medicare in addition to my private my retirement gosh. insurance. So I get the health care that I need. I spend my summers in California at Death Valley and see a lot of tourists from Canada who come down for the winter, and a lot of people from England. Most of the Canadians that I talk to are extremely happy with their mm -hmm. health care. Yeah, that's what I've heard they too. get care quickly and appropriately. They don't like the fact that when they come to the United States, they have to buy an expensive insurance policy in order to be covered here in the United States when they come here to visit. I visited with a woman from England recently who was there with her three children, she and her husband on vacation. A teenage friend of one of her children had just gotten gravely ill. They got word that they took him to the local doctor in England. He saw him, referred him for special diagnostic workup, which he got within a week. You can't get that here in the United mm -hmm. States. They referred him on for a surgical procedure because they found out he had cancer in, around the heart. And he had that within a week of being referred to it. You can't get that here in the United States, particularly if you don't have an insurance policy. So there is a great deal of lying being done yes. about the health care in other countries. The, I think the problem is there's a great deal of selective listening. You will hear English people say that they don't like the system. You ask them, do you want to get rid of it? And the answer is 100% no. I know what I'm talking Canada about. Canada, too, is the same thing. A, a person who's across the street from me out in Death Valley is Canadian. She's married to an American citizen. He needed a surgery. He went to Canada for the surgery, and it only cost him with Air Force fare $2,500 because they had no insurance to cover him at that particular time. The same procedure in Las Vegas where he would have been referred was $25,000. So Canada has a good delivery system and they're constantly working to make it better and Canadians are happy with it as a general rule. Just like Americans, mm -hmm. U.S. citizens, we say, I don't like what happened to me at the doctor the other day because I had to wait 10 days to get in to see him. Or he wouldn't take me without a referral from my primary oh, care thank you, John. Or he wouldn't do this or he wouldn't do that. But Canada does not want to give up their health care system, neither does England. If Americans go into the hospital with a major health care problem, they're very likely to come out bankrupt. Yes. That's not right. Two percent of bankruptcies are medical, aren't they? Yeah. This is what we want to talk to Senator Inhofe about mm -hmm. in, uh, in his presence. So all the issues I'm not being heard. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 
I'm written mm -hmm. off because I'm, yes. well, we, I have other things. Yeah, we have. Yeah. I, I want to know mm -hmm. why he feels this way. I, I do. I, I don't understand, know. understand no, I don't it. Either. I don't understand where he's getting the statistics. And I don't understand why he feels the way he does. And I'm more than happy to, to yeah, listen. listen. And I just don't really understand his opinion on this. I mean, does he have a plan? Uh, I, I haven't had a chance to read. You know, I honestly think. Yeah. Kathy, there's there is such good information available, truthful, factual information that is available from many countries that have very viable healthcare systems. I've been fortunate, as uh, my friends here know, with my business. I travel extensively through Europe and South America as well as Canada, and I have been exposed to many healthcare systems, and I can vouch for these healthcare systems. You know, no healthcare system is perfect, but the information that's coming out that's being reported about these healthcare systems is absolutely and totally false. It's it's a rouge. It's a smear, and it's all in behalf of big pharmaceutical, big insurance, and the big lobbies. And we've just got to step up and, and face it. That we have to say no to these people and say no. You are not going to control us like that anymore for all that profit. Well, Kathy, thank you very thank much for your time. Certainly. We won't uh, take yeah, any more we'll of your time. Your it's your one you've time. Been, again, you've been very cordial and thank very you. hospitable. Thank and you. Thank 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 you.